Welcome to Ankyo USA product support how to video series. Today we'll show you how to do a simple network connection using our TXNR609 receiver. The following things that you will need is an Ethernet cable and your router. So let's go ahead and begin. Before you start, please make sure to set the HDMI control RIHG settings to off. Turn off the control device connected VI Ethernet cable. Turn off zone 2. Stop playback of content from the internet, radio, iPod, and iPhone, USB, or server accessories. Finally, please check the network connection. While performing an update, please do not touch the cable or devices connected to the AV receiver during the update process. Do not attempt to access the AV receiver from the PC while it is being updated. Do not shut down the power on the AV receiver while it is being updated. This diagram is an example of how you can connect an AV receiver to your home network. In this example, it is connected to a LAN port on a router. This has a 4 port 10 base TX switch built in to it. Here are some procedures to follow. Connect the Ethernet cable on the back of your unit in the Ethernet port located on the back of your receiver. Press the receiver followed by setup on the remote controller or press the setup button on the front panel. The setup menu will display on the TV screen. The procedures thereafter can also be performed on the AV receiver by using the setup, arrow, and the enter button. Select hardware setup and press enter. Select firmware update and press enter. Note the firmware update option will be grayed out for a short while. After the AV receiver is turned on, please wait until this become available. Select VI net and then press enter. Select update and press enter and the update process will begin. During the update process, the on-screen display may disappear depending on the update program. When this occurs, you can still view the update progress on the front display of the AV receiver. The on-screen display will reappear after the update is completed and upon turning the AV receiver on and off again. The message complete appears on the front display of the AV receiver, indicating that the update process has been completed. Now that you have the latest firmware update, you can enjoy all the features that the TXNR609 can offer you. Thank you for watching.